Hi guys. Today we will analyze Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock has been a bad performer in the overall market. The long-term trend is still negative, but the short-term trend is neutral. It is advised to wait a little bit longer to see how this turns out. Strong support levels are around $77 and $69. Next strong support levels are around $60 and $50. Strong resistance levels are around $88 and $97. Next strong resistance levels are around $109 and $124. In the last month the stock has been trading between $73.80 and $87.70 and range. It is currently trading near the high of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 11.5 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022. Be careful. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 13% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 36% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 60% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider three different scenarios for Taiwan Semiconductor Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Taiwan Semiconductor will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 4%. Future profit margin would be low, 32%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 45%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $30. Second scenario. Taiwan Semiconductor will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 6%. Future profit margin would be average, 35%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 60%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $46. Third scenario. Taiwan Semiconductor will have high performance in next 5 years and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 38%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 75%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $67. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 4.92. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Taiwan Semiconductor, analysts forecast growth rate around 10% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 14. Again. I will use three different scenarios for Taiwan Semiconductor Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Taiwan Semiconductor will have bad performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 4%. Future PE would be low, 13. In this case, 
the fair value of the stock today would be $39. Second scenario. Taiwan Semiconductor will have average performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 6%. Future PE would be average, 15. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $53. Third scenario. Taiwan Semiconductor will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future P.E. would be high, 17. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $71. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $86, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. The company has a great profitability, and good financial health. Also, the stock is expected to show a medium growth in revenue in the next 5 years, 10-12% to yearly. However, the stock looks a bit overpriced at the moment. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022, and it can go lower, before it recovers. I may consider buying the stock, when the stock drops to $70. Company Strengths Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, is a Taiwanese multinational semiconductor contract manufacturing and design company. It is the world's most valuable semiconductor company, the world's largest dedicated independent semiconductor foundry and one of Taiwan's largest companies. In 2021, the company served over 500 semiconductor customers, producing more than 11,500 distinct products while providing a broad range of advanced, specialty, and advanced packaging technologies. The company produces chips for some of the world's largest tech companies, including Apple, AMD and NVIDIA. Both customer count and product metrics continue to rise in 2022, even in a challenging market environment. The company should consistently earn higher gross margins than competitors, thanks to its economies of scale and premium pricing, justified by cutting-edge process technologies. The company's return on equity of 28%, return on assets of 16% and profit margin of 38% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a medium growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 10-12% to on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 12% on average over the next five years. Risks The company operates in the semiconductor industry, which is one of the most cyclical ones. Taiwan Semiconductor derives about 40% of its revenue from the smartphone market. The industry alternates between shortages and oversupply. The company faces risks from other merchant fabs, such as United Microelectronics and Global Foundries, who might seek to undercut Taiwan on price or via other strategies. Additionally, integrated producers, such as Intel have indicated that they might begin to offer competitive merchant fab services. Samsung has significantly improved its foundry offerings and is now arguably on a par with Taiwan Semiconductor. Although Taiwan is the foundry leader, each generation of process technology matures and commoditizes quickly forcing the company to deal with pricing pressure. The company's new approach to diversify production geographically, may add cost pressures with little added resilience to stability. The company has client concentration risk, with the largest customer contributing 26% of revenue in 2021 and the top four clients about 50%. For example, Apple has been the company's largest customer for the last five years. Managing political risks has become integral to Taiwan Semiconductor. It's susceptible to pressure from China and the U.S., as it derives most of its revenue and operates factories in both countries. The company's expansion requires a lot of land, electricity and water. The company's land acquisition may be slowed by objections from locals. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.